We're invited to a barbecue tomorrow, and I'm in charge of bringing a side dish. But I'm not going to have a lot of time to work on it tomorrow, so I'm going to do the prep today. That's why I wanted to make my classic broccoli salad. It's no fuss, goes along great with other foods, and is a definite crowd pleaser. So if you're looking for something that's perfect for your barbecue, picnic, or potluck, then grab some broccoli and I'll show you how to make this. The good thing about this recipe is that you don't have to do much cooking at all. All you have to do is fry up some bacon. And actually, I just threw it in the oven, which is probably the reason why I moved out here. It's a little hot in there. And all you're going to need for this classic broccoli salad is broccoli, bacon, red onion, dried cranberries, cashews, mayo, white wine vinegar, salt, garlic powder, and agave. All I'm doing is mincing up half of a red onion, and if your red onion is really mega huge like mine, then you might not actually need the whole thing. Now you want your onion to be nicely, finely diced because it is going in raw, so you don't want someone to just chomp into like a huge chunk of onion. I don't think I need all of this onion. The rest I'm gonna put into this bowl. And now I have six to seven cups. So it's about six and a half cups of broccoli florets. And I just cut them up small, smallish pieces. I'm just gonna dump them in with my red onion. And really you can eyeball it. You can use as little or as much broccoli as you want. And to this, I do have other things I need to add to it, such as half a cup of dried cranberries. And this adds a little tart sweet chewiness as well as one cup of roasted cashews. But this just adds this kind of like savory, crunchy element to it, which is perfect. I'm just not gonna toss them in yet because then it's gonna get kind of soggy overnight. Now I have six strips of bacon. I love that crunch with the knife. Same thing with the bacon. I don't wanna put them in with the broccoli yet, so I'm just gonna put it in a bowl. And you can just keep this in your fridge. And it doesn't matter if it's cold the next day. Now all I gotta do is make my dressing. And it does start out, okay, let me just make a disclaimer. This is not a low fat salad. So if you're looking for figure friendly recipes, look out at my other recipes. So we're gonna start off with one cup of mayo. If you wanna lighten it up, you can use a little bit of non-fat Greek yogurt instead. I wouldn't replace the whole mayo with it because the mayo has that classic taste that we're looking for. And to that, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of white wine vinegar. Gives it a little sharpness. And to the sharpness, you have to add a little sweetness. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of agave. You can also use sugar. You can also try honey too. And I'm gonna start with a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a little seasoning. And then I have a half teaspoon of garlic powder. You can also try using fresh garlic if you want to. It's up to you if you want to add black pepper or if you want to do like crushed red pepper flakes like you know who might do normally. Ooh, and you see how it gets so velvety smooth. So just whisk away until no lumps are there. And you know, I think it's actually great as it sits in the fridge because the flavors only just meld together more. See you tomorrow. It's Sunday, it's after church, and I'm in a rush because we were invited for this barbecue for lunch. So I have like literally 2.5 seconds to toss this all together and get going. So I'm so glad I prepped out everything last night. Now I'm gonna add in my goodies, so add in my nuts. Depends on how much broccoli you have or if the people you're serving this to are a fan of nuts or not. So I have a cup measured out. I might not use the whole cup. And you'll see all the ingredients will fall to the bottom. That's why you gotta take a separate bowl with you and dump it upside down when you're ready to serve so that all of the goodies that fall to the bottom will end up being on the top when you're serving it. And then of course, bacon. I mean, this is my favorite part. Uh, I might use the whole thing, I might not, we'll see. Start out like that. I'm being super messy and <laughs> quick and sloppy. Okay, for me, that's good. And if you can actually see, 
I held some dressing back just because I don't have nearly as much broccoli to use all of this dressing. And I'm just gonna wrap this sucker up and head over to our friends John and Audrey's place and then we'll just serve it up. Thanks, Audrey. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> we're so glad to have you. Yeah, we're so excited to be here and super hungry too. Why don't you just pour this? We, I brought a separate bowl for the broccoli salad. You can just dump it in. Mm -hmm. So then ideally what will happen is that the bottom stuff will go on the top. Oh, and it did. I hope this goes well with what you prepared. What'd you prepare today? So we've got some burgers and you know all these toppings here. So sorry, no hot dogs. That's all right. <laughs> Only Joe will cry inside. <laughs> but yeah, this lettuce is actually straight from Audrey's garden outside. So I'm really excited about that. Super mm -hmm. sweet. Yeah. Thank you. And I hope this complements your burgers. It looks Definitely. really nice on here. I also brought the extra dressing in my mason jar just in case we need it. So if you need a little extra seasoning, mm -hmm. we can just pour some on the top. All right, so I guess we can go see what the boys are up to sure. outside. I think they're manning the grill <laughs> and then we can eat together. Yes. <laughs> good food, good times, good friends. I'm excited for your burger. Audrey made it with love. Mmm. <laughs> Actually, came out. Mm -hmm. No, this is like a. Yeah. Good job, honey. This is like a <laughs> more on the medium side, but maybe rare kind. Mm -hmm. No, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's seasoned nice. well, and you did a great job, John. I always like a little bit of fruit, like in my salad. Me too. Mm -hmm. Not everyone's a big fruit person. You know, but it really works with this salad. Mm -hmm. A lot of textures and flavors. I like the cashews. Mmm. Mmm, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> the broccoli salad is crunchy, creamy, sweet, tart, chewy, and bacony. It really complements everything else on the table. And Audrey did a phenomenal job making the patties, and John did a great job grilling it. So, this is a really cute little barbecue picnic indoors because it's raining for four. For substitutions, instead of broccoli, you can always use kale. So you can make it a kale salad and you can also turn this into a coleslaw. So it'd be a good coleslaw dressing. And obviously you can throw in whatever nuts, whatever dried fruit, whatever you want in there. So I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe. And if you did, remember to tell us by pushing like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. So now you can relax and do whatever mm. you want. This is really good, seriously, though. Mm. I'm mm. proud of you. I don't need no hot dog. Really? Mm -hmm. And I like a double cheese. <laughs> mm -hmm. You've had a double cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they all have double cheese. They all have No, but then one was like two. And then oh. Like, oh! I don't know. <laughs> I hope it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to good food and friends. Mmm. Good company, good food. Mmm. -hmm.